people who um, suppress their emotions are hoarders mentally. And what I mean by that is you experience so many, we're all human, so so many different emotions constantly are running through our minds and our mental and our hearts on a daily basis, especially in the music industry with um, the ups and downs of first you're happy and then you're sad and then you're struggling and then you're not and then it's all good and then it's not so good and then one day you feel on top of the world nobody can stop me and then the next you're like why is this my life right so um in the industry we're almost conditioned to take all of those emotions and bottle them up like it doesn't bother you right and i think it puts you in a space where you almost are hoarding those emotions within your your heart and in your mind and just like hoarding items in real life in your house or in your mom's basement or whatever just like that is unhealthy for various reasons it's the same with your mind and operating with a clear mind and with a clear um headspace and being able to emit those emotions when they come is so important and so key to keeping your mental health healthy. And I, I think that a lot of artists struggle with that because the music is their outlet and that's how they express how they feel to the world, to their peers, to anybody. It's, it's almost like their baby. Right. But when you take that baby and show it to the world and you're like, look at this beautiful baby. I love it so much. And some, and and then, some, like, and some, <laughs> and some and jerk on it. <laughs> starts beating your baby up. <laughs> you gonna feel some type of way. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> I think with music, it's the same way with your mental health because artists are literally giving their music, i.e. their children to the world. And especially in the world of the internet, the internet is not always very forgiving. (laughs) And something that you think is so beautiful and so creative and the best thing since sliced bread may not be the case to the rest of the world. And they're not going to treat, no one is going to treat your art the way that you treat your art. You're going to value your stuff way more than anyone else does. And sometimes it's hard for an artist to take the emotion out of the music and allow it to be the music business and that separation between the personal attachment to their music and the business aspect of what it is that they're doing which is providing a product to the world which is their song or their ep whatever that can be difficult and then when they receive that critical feedback it can be devastating for a certain artist, depending on what that feedback is, especially if it's negative. And then to turn around and tell the artist, by the way, you can't be mad because if you're mad, then you're not cut out for this business. And you also can't sit and sulk because if you sit and sulk and take time away, you're falling behind because the industry is so fast paced. So there's so much pressure on an artist to like, churn and burn but you also have to love what you do and put your heart and soul into it but then you have to separate your heart and soul from it (laughs) once you put it out into the world and accept all of the critical feedback and I think for a lot of young artists coming into the industry today that is very difficult which is why we see a lot of new artists that are breaking and having these meltdowns on social media and when I say meltdowns them dissecting every single bad thing that the media says or them saying that everybody's a hater everybody hates me and f this and f y'all and this is that and like to me to people that's probably going to sound like an artist that's just all over the place out there whatever artists being artists but to me that sounds like an internal cry for help and also someone who doesn't know 
how to handle the pressure being put on them as an artist in today's society because social media puts everything under a microscope and we as human beings are not designed to handle emotions that way. We're not supposed to literally overanalyze every single aspect of someone. We have to be forgiving of everyone's mistakes. And I don't think social media allows for that. 